Welcome back to Bookmakers Review. We couldn't get the cash yesterday with our underplay in the Knicks and the uh, Atlanta Hawks, mostly due to Trey Young just blowing up for 45 points, silencing the Garden crowd once again. If it wasn't for that, this total would have cashed under pretty easily. So we're going to chalk up yesterday some bad luck. We're going to try to get it back, though, today. And with the play on the under in the first half here between the Suns and the Minnesota Timberwolves at 117 points. Now, this total's been going the wrong direction, but I think that the first half defense, at least for the start of this game, will be good enough to cash the under here. No CP3 still for the Suns, no Cameron Johnson, and the Wolves have been an extremely good defense so far this season at home, and they have the motivation on their hands too because they have been teetering back and forth between the play-in tournament and being that sixth seed here with the Denver Nuggets, and they're, they have a tough, tough stretch right now down the stretch. Seven uh, in the midst of a, a seven-game stretch right now where they're playing all playoff teams. So this is going to be a tough game, home game. Obviously a little bit of question mark with Carl Anthony Towns being questionable here, but he was questionable Monday and ended up playing really well. I think in this game with the magnitude of it and the fact that the Wolves have lost twice to the Suns, not wanting to make it all three games here this season, I think you probably see Carl Anthony Towns suit up for this one. On top of that, the Wolves already, like I said, been very good defensively so far this season. They ranked first overall in home first-half defense this season. And both of these teams have ranked in the top 10 in both offensive and defensive rating over their last 10 games. So both teams coming in relatively hot. And I think Minnesota is going to come out fired up, though, after losing the first two games of this uh, series against the Suns. Knowing that the uh, Suns are a little bit banged up right now and knowing that they need every win they can here on this stretch run of the season in order to avoid the play-in tournament. But right now, defensively, I think the Suns first half-wise looking really good as well, too, regardless of who has been playing for them. Suns ranked fourth in first half defense over their last 10 games. And on the road, they are second to only Boston in first half defense. So they are in a really good spot here, as well as the Wolves, to play a little bit of defense. I'm hoping the Suns can control the pace here in this one, which is kind of my lone concern. If this game, uh, if this game's pace favors the Wolves, then we're in trouble on this one. But if the Suns are able to slow them down, force them to defend long sections of the shot clock, and then on top of that, force them into longer offensive sets without a lot of transition offense, I think you see this under here in the first half a Go under. I like it here to add it at 117 to your NBA picks and best of luck to you on all your NBA action and any upcoming college action. But until then, best of luck to you on all your NBA and college basketball action.